Okay, we are here. We are live. What's some more Pokemon Legends? Uh, see, it's last time. Uh, we did some more dex completions. I think we actually did quite a lot. We finished up Pachirisu and Cherubi and Trees. We got super lucky and got them, like, back-to-back -back within, like, a minute of each other, the last ones we needed. Uh, and then we worked on... Let me see what we have in our party. We I think we did Rhyperior. We did... Uh, other stuff. I'm, I'm great at remembering this. You know... Something, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, so we uh, we did that last time. Oh, look at Clefable and Rivery. Hi. I think that's the that would be the Alpha Sweet Summer. Anyway, wow, there's a lot of Alphas and Chinese here. Anyway, uh, yeah. So Austin, I cleaned off out the box. We do have a Dartrix at some point to uh, evolve, just for a good nature of Decidui. Um. I think that's really all that we have of note. I still haven't decided what I want to do with all these Slingu if I'm going to evolve them or not, we'll see. Um, there's a good chance we'll just transfer them. Speaking of transfers, off stream when I did my typical transfers, I got 12 Grit Rocks, nothing crazy, but never hurts to have them. Um, and then, okay, so I walked in the treadmill today and had some time to work on a few moves. I worked on five Pokemon. We'll go quick, quickly through what we did, roughly. I don't know where exactly we started with some of these, but I've made significant progress on Gallade. I was like, get some of the close combats out of the way. We, I just I did Gallade stuff. I did... I was picking Pokemon based more so off of how annoying I felt they were going to be uh, move to deal with move-wise. So, hang on. Let me see. Oh, do we see anything Infernape-wise? I think... Um, uh... Akari has an Infernape. I think I saw it used Raging Fury like once or twice. Not a big deal, but I guess I think I should. I figured I should mention it. Uh, we're working on Lucario. So yeah, I was using mainly close combat uh, with some decent bit of agile styles. I did use Aura Sphere once. Oh, this is a lot. So it's good, it's good to get some of the close combats out of the way though, because those are quite annoying. Just because the 5 PP and the defense drop, it's, you know. Uh, I did Bang Mortar. I was trying to do Fire Blast. That was sort of the big focus. So I got a few of those done. Um, two more, I believe. A moment I see them. Oh yeah, Porygon 2. I was like, I gotta get some of these um, Hyper Beams done. That's another annoying move. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm prioritizing anything that I think would be annoying. Even if Porygon Z is not necessarily worth prioritizing in Perfections. And then I did Rampart, so I was trying to get some Head Smashes off. So, yeah, nothing, um, nothing too crazy. Just, just some of the annoying moves I was working on in the battlegrounds. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to jump into things. We don't have a ton to do on some of these guys. Uh, let's do Electivire. Just needs Strong Style. Infernape just needs Flare Blitz and Raging Fury. Togekiss needs. Uh, Agile style, and I think uh, Gliscor we haven't really started. I got added right at the end, but we need Mud Bomb and X Scissor. So, yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, so this is the primary place we need to go. This is the only place uh, that we need to like actively worry about because we need Apoms from trees. I think we still need about 11 of them, maybe? Give or take. Um, you know, it's raining now. Do I just wanna, let me just evolve those fucking Sligoos. Let me just get this shit out of the way. So I don't have to ever think about it again. I'm just evolving all of these Sligoos. I'm so sorry, this is gonna take a sec. But um, yeah, so Apom's sort of the biggest concern, I would say, right? That and Magnemite, which is also here, but in the space-time distortions. You know, space-time distortions just because they're, you know, it's inconsistent with them showing up. Um. I think we have to do quite a lot with Magnemite still. I'm, I'm a little worried about it, to be honest. And Apom, I'm a little worried about. Uh, I think those are the two biggest concerns. I want to say I probably should start working on Azel for some shit, too. That's a mild concern. Because I'm pretty confident that we need to... Um, Self-destruct 70 times. I haven't started working on that because I really haven't been thinking about Legendaries. But once I get super close to finishing everything that's not a legendary, I will probably start working on that first, just to get it out of the way. Uh, good thing about legendaries is at least they're strong and they're gonna be high level to start, so I don't think it's not gonna be an issue of like 
uh, we're underpowered, like we've had with some of the previous Pokemon. Thankfully, there's not that many Pokemon left that we have to worry about being underpowered. Um, we have to do Cranidos Ancient Powers, so that's gonna be a little weaker. We have a Grottle, Magnemite, Magneton, Porygon, Porygon 2. Well, you know, there's not that much. Like That's like actually like it that I, I have to really be concerned about. I think a lot of the Eevee Illusions we have are unfortunately pretty low leveled. That's the only issue I see with that. Like, that's the biggest level issue besides... Even Dynamite, I think you catch it at like level 60 or something. I could be wrong. I might be very wrong actually, but... I'm pretty sure you can catch it at a pretty high level. Because we, we... it's post game. Um... we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, and then Decidueye, we have to actually get that Dartrix evolved, because we don't have a good nature for either regular or alpha. Um, I think the same is for Texlosion. No, we have a regular. I think it's just level, like, 36. <laughs> it's, like, right at the cusp. So. Yeah, I gotta get as many Gujra caught in my decks as possible. No, I just want to get these traded for Pokemon Home. Or, you know, because I could trade, I could trade Gujras for good things. They're good to trades. Ha, ha, ha. And then real quick, let me pull this up out of... Let me find this. This works. Um, oh, we're talking, we're doing this. So I started making a thing for the Path of Solitude, right? So I was going through getting my opponent's levels. This is, I probably have to shift these over, but... Um... I'm currently writing down their, their moves, what they're going up against, what the level is, and what the opponent moveset is. I still have a ways to go. And then I took out anything that was not... Um, I took out anything that was not... Or that we had already completed. And then I have a thing for feasibly beatable based off our level, mainly. Because, like... Set, uh, level 84 Cyndaquil. I'm sure I could beat it with a, something a little lower level than that. But I don't think we have a Rowlet past level, like, 60. I mean, we might, but... You know, it gets a little little dicey. Uh, a little, little spicy, little... All that. So I'm just working on that. Once I get all the stuff actually in, I'll probably figure out if something's feasible based off levels and see what we need to level up. And see what, uh, what moves we would potentially want to use. If there's anything good, even. Move-wise, that would help us. So... That's sort of that. Um, that's just in the works. I, you know, I, it's not really a priority still. I want to. I'd rather perfect the deck entries first. But I'm like, if I'm gonna perfect the entire deck entry, I may as well just do the Path of Solitude because so many Pokemon are gonna be high leveled already from just moves. You know, it's putting them in the party for a while. That, like, I think we could do it without. Hopefully, without like too much extra. You know, work. Especially because I have a bunch of at this point. XP candies that I've like barely used, so I can use a bunch of those. Because I'm gonna have no no other need for them really. I mean, unless I wanted to power up a shiny or something, but even then, like, there's no real reason uh, to do that. I have so many other, you know, I have a team of Pokemon that I could use my main 14 for just, you know, having good Pokemon in our party at all times, as well as Arceus, who's also level 100. Um, I have that, or I have, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, other Pokemon. At worst case, I just have to manually level it up, you know, boohoo. I have five level 100s in my party, it's not that hard to level up. It's me, which, I think we literally just need to defeat, like, two Gallades with ghost moves. And then Magnemites with ground moves. And then, like, Arceus doesn't really have a need to be in our party anymore. Which would allow us to do five um, Pokemon in our party. I don't know when or how that's going to all work out, to be honest. The Magnemite thing is sort of all over the place. That's why I'm like, yeah, we might have to start just doing regular outbreaks. Here in the coastlands is a good call because it takes a guaranteed five minutes 
for an outbreak to start. Or not an outbreak, uh, uh, the first chance of a distortion spawning, and then it goes at like 15 minute increments until it hits like, I think once it hits, um, 25? Or it goes, I think it goes 5, 10, 15, 25, 40, I believe is when the checks are. If you don't get anything by 40 without sleeping, you're guaranteed to keep guaranteed to get a, a, a thing, but also weather can have an impact. So I, I know I'm explaining this really badly. Um, so at some point eventually, I think we're just gonna basically have to fly around here for in five to fifteen, five ten or fifteen minute increments. Um, if the distortion doesn't spawn, leave, come back, and do that over and over and over again. So. Not exciting, but yeah, do what you gotta do, I guess. But that's why regular outbreaks are good. Because, they, like, uh, distortion can't spawn during a massive mass outbreak. But a distortion, like, the timer doesn't go up during a distortion, during a, a massive mass outbreak for the distortions. But they will go up for a regular outbreak, I'm pretty sure. So, regular outbreaks here are good. And I, I can't quite decide if I want to, like, actively work on APOM and the Magnemites and the Distortions at the same time. Or if it'd be better to do them at separate points. Um, because if they're separated, it may make... It'll make the APOMs faster, but it'll, it won't help with the Distortions. I don't know, you know, it gets, it gets confusing quickly. The logistics. But yeah, I guess as a result, I will probably manually go run over to Piplup. Question is, are we going by land or sea? Just to stall a little bit. Although I think if it's raining, you might not be able to get distortions either. And that might reset the timer. There's some weird caveats. So, yeah, you We'll figure it out, though. And then, yeah, going back to quickly the, um... The Massive Mass Outbreak stuff. Not Massive, the, uh, sorry, the... Dex grinding while on the treadmill stuff. Um... Yeah, that, that seemed to speed up some of the stuff with, like, Dusknor and Mamoswine fairly significantly. Um, even if it's not the most efficient way of going through moves, it's still ultimately beneficial. So, I am fine with doing it more? I mean, I think it, you know, getting close combat out of the way just speeds up that process, because that's like, the slowest process is 5 PP moves, especially if they have low accuracy. Close combat doesn't, Fire Blast is 85. So, you know, nothing crazy, but... Hey, we're, we're taking the longer route. I'm I'm just gonna stall a little bit. There. Oh, it is just okay. It's just a regular. That looked like a big splash. I was like, I was wondering if it was an alpha Pokemon, but no, it's just a Mantine. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, there is an alpha Gyarados over here. I thought that's what I thought, but then at previous times where I was would go over there, I wasn't actually seeing one. But that was just a quick flyby. So, yeah, this is my stalling technique. It's basically go around and see if I get any lucky shinies. Stall for a distortion. You know which. Um, do you have bulldoze on you? Power. Oh. Eh, yeah, let's do Bulldoze. There's just more PP. Hello! Hello, Chillos! Oh, there's a different one over here. And I'm not 100% sure about the whole, like, weather... ...thing in relation... Oh. That's bad. 
the whole weather thing in relation to the distortions. So I have to I have to see about that a little bit. There's just not a, like a crazy amount of information on this sort of thing. Ooh, Alpha Piplup. I might actually need that. Do we need Alpha Piplup? We do. Okay, this is important to try to catch. We just don't have any, let alone a good nature. I'm more worried about just having one at, at this point. Whoa. Nah, eh. Oh, nah, eh. Got here. Oh. Well, we do have a shiny hip up, but nothing else in this line. Oop. Was really bad. Oh my god, please, Jesus. Okay, well, that one was just me trying to lock on it, it already left. Okay, no shinies. I'll give it a couple more moments, see if any distortions happen to start. Then we'll uh, go from there. Take a look over here. See if we get lucky at all. I don't believe we need alpha any more alpha drift wounds. I'm not gonna worry about that. We got a water stone. Whoa. Uh, let's take out a I guess if, we're, if we are gonna be stalling time-wise to see if we can get any distortions to spawn, we could go around and fight all the alphas for you know, EXP and EXP candies. So that's at least a positive. Plus it gives us yeah, we could go look for shinies as well. It's just they just both yelled at each other. Yeah, I guess I'm literally probably gonna have to have a timer for every time I load into this map um, to make sure I don't, you know, stay here too long and start ultimately wasting time. Which, kinda dramatic, I guess, but... Like, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Yeah, that's a good way to get some EXP candies for Path of, Path of Solitude stuff that's, you know, up and coming. Yeah, the issue too is though, like, I can't get into too many battles. Because the timer will pause, I'm pretty sure, when I'm in a battle for the distortions. So... I thought I saw you out of the corner of my eye, or like the text, not even the person. Yes, yes, you can pull out Toxicroak. See if I care. <sighs> yeah, I'm not really sure what the best way to go about timing it is. I mean, I literally could use like Live Split, but. I am rusty with Live Split. <laughs> and too lazy to like relearn it. How's this going, dude? Two hit. Okay. We live. That's good news. Okay, Terry, we need adjuncts. I was originally going to use uh, Infernape to take out the Alpha Mothim, but we're a little low on health, so be safe. Use Thunder. Not Thunderous. Uh, Togekiss, sorry. Thunderous is right above Togekiss in my spreadsheet as of now. <laughs> I got confused. And I'm like, Infernape? At this level, I think I did fill out Infernape. 
in the Path of Solitude spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, it's, an it's a level 80 Empoleon, so I don't think Infernape would be quite ready to take it out at level 61. What the fuck? What is with these- the fucking sisters and putting me next to alpha Pokemon for us to fight? You keep trying to get me killed. That's not the noise. I tried. They just have such silly noises. I can't help it. I like imitating Pokemon noises, even if I do it really poorly. This is this is. Yeah, I'm gonna get another moment or two. But yeah, the issue is, yeah, if, if I do do a timer, I have to pause it also, I realize, every time... I get into a battle. I guess I could just not get into battles, but that kind of kills the alpha... ...bit. Um, not like the literal alphabet, but you know what I mean. That would be a good way to go about getting XP or XP candies. Come. Hmm. Let me see. Like, if I were to like just. Go to like Google and look look for a stopwatch. I'm sure I could just find yeah, Google just straight up has it. Uh, for my reference, if I hit start, I can stop it. Okay. And then I would just have to leave that that up on my screen or on my third monitor as opposed to the um Whatever we're working on, the, the the spreadsheet with the information of Pokemon. That might not be a bad call, honestly. Um. Yeah, it's honestly probably gonna have to be the thing we do. Oh, the the other lady's also here. The uh, what, Gengar and Rhydon lady? Cause I'm like... I have... here, yeah, like it pulls up. I would have to do like a little crop thing with it, I think. Oh fuck, I just accidentally switched to Infernape. Without thinking. So, okay, well... We'll see. Okay. For now, I won't bother with getting it on screen, but that is worth considering. Well, I don't have to worry about being outsped. Um, I can do this. Switch over to Mud Vomit. Bonk. I'm a little surprised that Gliscor doesn't have a stronger agile move. I'm gonna double check this real quick out of curiosity. When I think about that, I'm like, that doesn't seem right. Even like every fully evolved Pokemon has that. So. Yes, yes, he won't hold back. Blah, 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 blah. Five nuggets. That's what I wanted to do. Glide score before I forget. GGG. Wait, am I 
Do I suck at alphabetizing? I do. There it is, fucking strong. Okay, I, I, I had a feeling. Okay, that makes things a lot longer. I was like, something feels off. 70 is quite a lot. Okay. Let's quickly do some move tweaking. You better account for this. Yeah, okay. I'm glad we double checked, otherwise I would have been annoyed. Down the road. So. I'm human, I make little mistakes. Like a dumbass. Also, I wonder how long... Or like, how you get trees to reset. I don't know how long that takes. There are a significant amount of, uh... Oh, like, alphas I can go around fighting. But yeah, as I said, the issue then becomes... Starting and stopping the timer, which I guess if I'm, I, you know, I could always just go over like 15, 20 seconds from the 15 minute or the 10 minute or 5 minute mark just to be safe. Um, I don't know. Okay. But yeah, it looks like we got nothing here. No distortions. We've, we've traveled around at least a little bit here, so... I'm gonna assume we did enough. Oh, we should also really quickly sell some orange berries. Yeah, so I guess every time we come here, I'm starting and stopping the timer as need be. This part of me is wondering if I should just like 100% prioritize that or not. Is it? It may honestly be worth it. I'm just gonna do like 356. We just don't need orange berries that bad anymore. I don't know if this is enough. This might actually be enough for the mint. Let's we'll see. Oh yeah, okay. So this is just updating these. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. I uh, Kamado has a Clefairy. I think I fought him like once. <laughs> <laughs> that explains that one. Okay. Yep. These all add up. Uh, I guess we should prioritize Egg Scissor if we can. You stuff, you stuff, you, yep. Oh, this is pretty much just the bit I did off stream. And I got some exercise out of it walking on the treadmill. So, like, you know, it's a win win. I get exercise and I get to play Pokemon. Fortunately, I can't play, play Pokemon exercise and stream at the same time. I mean, I can probably, but it would just knock over. <laughs> One day. Eh, this is quick. I could also probably just go run up and fight Glade. Seems unnecessary. I mean, we probably should just literally go fight Benny twice. Oh, and then I also have to figure out- yeah, that's right, we do have to faint Scizor with fire type moves. We just have to defeat like three of them in total, I think, and one with fire. We probably should double check who, if anyone, has fire. Not fire, scissor, sorry. In the I feel like somebody does. Okay, I feel I can beat this up. I don't give a shit. I was like, oh no, what if it's like a snow run or a burg mine? I'm gonna feel bad. Nah, it's just a glaily. <laughs> Hi, right, welcome back to me being a dick. 
Yeah, if, if we're unable to fight anyone on the training grounds with a scissor, we're gonna have to do it here in a distortion. Although, there's not a lot that seems to really... spawn. Wow, they just booked it. Oh my gosh. Auto lock on. <laughs> Screwing me up a little bit. Is that, like Is that like all of them, basically? I mean, that makes my life quick. These little rascals run away. You? You might actually just be a normal. <laughs> There you are. Little oh, crazy guy. Another one? What is that? Is that an Alpha Eevee or is that just a regular Eevee? Oh, there it is. It is an Okay, we need Alpha Eevees, so. There's a couple Alpha Eevee illusions we're just missing. There we go. <gasps> why did it turn around? I got a little too close, that's why. Oh, thank God, okay. Scared the shit out of me, LMAO. Back to the lab again. Uh -huh. That goes gravity. Oh, that makes up for all the Pokeballs I missed. <laughs> so we, get, we get by almost 55 new uh, new regular Pokeballs. So uh, we made more than we spent technically. Ah! And now, now we have probably gotten enough, right? Okay. I must have- oh, I think I did that literally right at the end of the stream last time. That's why. Okay, I'm honestly, like, thinking more about APOM than anything. Which means we're not gonna get a lot of progress on other things if we stick to this today. Okay, timer has been started. But... Oh well. Stop the timer. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit awkward. I have to like eat my hand in a direction, but we'll figure it out. I'm like I may as well faint the uh alphas. So we've managed to be out for about 20 seconds. So, you know, that's accomplishing something, right? Another while to go. And it's back again, okay. Yeah, we pretty much just spend this time flying around. Is it too shaking? Let's go. Yeah. Woohoo! 49 seconds! Okay, yeah, once we get out of battle, I'll start again. Cool. 
Yep, so this is where we're at right now. Uh, nothing over here. Yeah, I don't really want to just start fighting random Pokemon. That's the one downside is we're not gonna get like any moves done while we do this. Um, yeah, this is not a good thing to just sort of leave up to your randomness. Minute forty two seconds. Yeah, this seems like something where we just slap a tier list or something on the screen and just sit in spawn and wait. Um oh, timer. Which is admittedly not particularly exciting. Like I'm basically flying around looking for shinies. Really, all I'm doing right now. All I really. I mean, I guess it's better than sitting around doing nothing, but at the same time, I can just chillax and do like a tier list without thinking. That also is pretty easy. Find a caster fern route or something. <laughs> wonder what a Alphagirados gives if it gives medium or large candies. Here's the alpha. Okay. You were at least getting a couple moves off. <laughs> I'll give out large candies. That's pretty nice. Three minutes and 25 seconds. Progress! Okay, yeah, the fact that I have to stop the timer every time is a little bit awkward. A second alpha? That's huge. That has to be an alpha. Okay, whatever. We're gonna... Wait, is that an alpha tentacle? We actually do need an alpha tentacle. Or is it just a tentacle? Ah, eh, it's just a tentacle. Damn it. This is actively something we need. Okay, in a minute, assuming we don't get any bat into any battles or anything, we will then have a chance for a distortion. Oh, we're gonna check the Alpha Nine Tails to see if it was shiny. Yeah, like, I guess we just check Alpha Pokemon and see if we find any shiny Alphas. Thirty seconds. I go check the Alpha Luminion. Nope. Okay. Our check will happen in just a sec. So I'll give it an extra ten seconds, but I'm guessing no distortion. 
Okay, now we got another five minutes. That's literally it. That's what we're doing. We've checked a good chunk of the map, too, for shinies in this time period. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah, because the, the distortions are not, like, that random. There's, I mean, there's, you know, there's randomness to when they spawn, but it's not, like, it's not full-blown random. It's random at in intervals. So, we got four minutes left. Yeah, I'm not too sure how I want to uh, handle this exactly. Uh, I'm actually just gonna ignore her. I really don't need money. And I'm too, too lazy to pause the timer. And yeah, I mean, it's only gonna take longer if I have to keep pausing the timer, so... I'm just gonna use this as an opportunity to uh, shiny hunt. Sort of. Not the most exciting way, per se, but. Shiny hunt to shiny hunt, I guess. <laughs> every, you know, every Pokemon. Finally a Murkrow! Let's go! Okay. I can just run up to this and. Thank you, love it. There we go. See, this is why, you know. Like, we can make this worth it. Work it. Worth it. Work it. <laughs> Let's go. Because okay, that was a shiny I wanted. See? That's fucking awesome, actually. Huh. That worked out really well. See? It's worth it. Sort of. I'm sitting here like, is this worth it? What am I doing in my life? Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta pause the timer. I didn't realize I was shaking. Yeah, we're eight minutes now. Yep, timer's back. Shiny Murkrow, that makes me feel a little bit better about all this. I think once we hit like 10 minutes at 30 seconds, I'm gonna throw in the towel for this. Bit. I'm, not, I'm not gonna wait till the 15 minute mark. But the fact that we got the same two sisters is kind of funny. Okay, I got a minute left. Now we should hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get a distortion. Cause we only get like two or three Magnemites a distortion. Uh, yeah, we've checked a good chunk of the map here for shinies, so. Oh, <laughs> 
It's coming right up. No sure I need Vasculin, right? I'm terrified of finding a shiny of Vasculin and then having it immediately run. Okay, we just have 10 minutes. We have an extra moment, but that looks like no shiny. Yep, I'm gonna say, not no shiny, no uh, distortion. So, yeah, this is what we'd be doing. Okay. I'm gonna stop it, reset it. Okay. Real quick, because I need to know for my sanity. And I did double check, yeah, nobody nobody in the training grounds or the Path of Solitude is in back. Actually, there is, we need to catch three and we need to defeat. Oh my god. So many. It's so many. Okay, let's just say perfect odds, right? To get everything. So we need we would need we need fourteen. So we would need at we need at least five outbreak or distortions to get all these. At least five. That is quite a lot. I could get a quick photo of this. Oh man. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um Pretty rough. I mean hey, at least we got a shiny murker out of it. Ah! What did I just do? Hang on. Ah! Uh, okay, hang on. I think my. I hit like the home button on exit while trying to get a screen check going. And I messed up my one thing. Hang on. Give me one sec, I am rebooting. There we go, my Elgato software that decided to just die on me. <laughs> there we go, okay, I'm good finally. Yo, hello! Got one of these a few moments ago, so I'm pretty happy with that. Gotta send a photo of my girlfriend real quick. Make sure it sounds okay, perfect. Anyway, I think we can, um back to the base. Yeah, so I think hunting space-time distortions and A-POMs I mean, it's gonna have to be done eventually. It's just not super time efficient, unfortunately. But, like, there's not much I can do about that. So, I don't know. But yeah, the sheer amount of Magnemites we need is concerning. Eh, fuck yeah, let's just keep doing this. For the moment, at least. Oh, wait, I'm gonna change the time of day, because I think the rain can impact if distortions spawn. Okay, well, it's still rainy. But I can't start the timer because every time you sleep with the time going forward, it resets the distortion timer. There we go. And boom. Timer starts. Okay. Now we just gotta fly around the overworld for five minutes. <laughs> So yeah, I get to go fly around. We'll go check for APOM. If there's an APOM, obviously, then we'll... I'm fine with stopping the timer for APOM, because we actively are also here to look for APOMs. 
Any of that and distortions. This is the only map that I'm pretty sure we have, like, very specific things, except for maybe the Scizor, if nobody in the training grounds has one. Which... I should probably look up in a moment. Like, I'm like, I could go around and just catch random Pokemon for shits and giggles, but that doesn't really accomplish anything. Nope, no A-Pumps. And yeah, it seems like just fighting the, uh... Alphas is not gonna be worth the time. My uh, strategies here might might need some some work. We'll see. But hey, at least I get to grab resources. <laughs> no shinies. But only three more minutes, and then we'll and we'll uh we'll be able to know uh, if we uh, find anything. <laughs> Figure we check uh, Alpha Chancy. Literally just gonna check everything that I can cram in for shinies. Probably not gonna see literally every spawn, but I'll check a bunch of them. See we get lucky. We're one for two on luck, so. <laughs> and given. What, outside of Apom and Hunchcrow... I think those are like the only Pokemon on this entire map that we don't have perfected. So we have like the max shiny odds. I'm gonna check Basculin, but I'm paranoid as fuck that I'm gonna find a shiny and it's gonna run away. But I'm also too lazy to save and stop the timer. I'll just try to get as high above it as I can. I don't see a single fucking Basculin Elmeo. Well, that was a, a series of stuff. Oh, there's one. There they are. I was just flying too fast. Okay, about 30 seconds and then we should get a roll for a distortion. is worth checking the Alpha Nine Tails. Okay, any second now we'll have a chance at a distortion. I don't actually know what the odds of it actively spawning are. Okay, it doesn't look like we got it. I'll go for five more minutes. Yeah, I think there was one uh, Magnemite in the Path of Solitude. The issue being that it was 
you have to beat it with Togepi. And Togepi doesn't learn any ground moves, so I can't cheese it. Like, I can't, you know, battleground it. Which sucks. Four minutes, we'll have another check go through. So, uh, fingers crossed! Yeah, I might have to do another, honestly. The play... Might be to do another, like... Yeah, like, favorite Pokemon picker thing with Frigid. Wow, we just sit and wait for these. Oh, purple up! Huh. That is the first time we've actually seen a purple up. Like, we've seen, like, a grotto. Like, they do spawn. They're just very uncommon. Anyways. Anything of interest around here? Nope. Um, two and a half more minutes. <laughs> Yeah, so I could see how this is gonna be an issue. The longer this goes on, the more uh, I question everything. The issue is, yeah, we really aren't gonna be in this like map for anything other than outbreaks, otherwise. So I'm like, it's not like, oh, we'll just randomly stumble into one. But that's just not, it's not gonna happen. It's like, it's not worth just running around doing, you know, moves here because that just delays. I guess I didn't throw that right, whoops. That just delays, um... Distortion spawning. We're in, like, just, like, an awkward spot with this. Yeah, we have about a minute. She's here for, like, the third time in a row, damn. Damn, lady, get lady, lady. Lady, get a hobby! Yeah, so this whole loop takes about 10 minutes. The way that I'm at least currently going about it. So. Seconds. About ten seconds. Please give me one. The issue is, is, yeah, we can also get magnetons in these. I was like, nope, didn't happen, and then it happened. Holy shit. Oh, boy. Um, we got a lot of iron here. Um, um, of 
Where's this at? All the way over there. Cool. There we go! I was just joining my computer instead of my phone. I also beat the game. Congratulations! Nicely done! Yeah, I'm still doing post-game stuff. Of stuff. <laughs> That's, that's what I've been up to for ages. <laughs> but it's because I enjoy the game. You did it in 24 hours a day? Like, in-game time or real-life time? Now I can just do whatever for a few moments. Real lifetime, damn! Ah, it's dedication, all right. I'm assuming that means you liked it. <laughs> I guess I should paint these guys real quick. I'm like. Trying to conserve some PP if I can. Yeah, this is probably gonna go poorly. Probably should have just flooded and tried again for a backstab. Yeah, so the tire method does, at least seems like it's gonna work. <laughs> So that didn't work out. Um, so I was gonna say, I think what we do here is we prioritize catching with the Magnemites as opposed to feigning them. Not that it makes a difference, but just to do one and then the other. I, I, we just gotta pray we don't get that many Magnetons, to be honest. So we are taking a lot, a lot of damage before we even start this, but that's okay. I'm probably gonna have to revive twice. Well, no, we, I think we have to catch three Magnemites still. But, uh, yeah. Which is probably the amount we'd be getting anyway. Well, yeah. spend some time saying hello. We could take a few screenshots. Okay, listen here, you made him go back in the ball, you dick. How rude. I also have no clue how long it takes for a distortion to start once it spawns in. It's, I swear it seems like it's at different intervals, but I have no proof of that. Are big. Oop. You're so silly. How you doing, Arceus? <laughs> do you have like a mouth, even? How do you eat? I guess you're a god, you probably don't need to eat. You're like, wh why do people eat? Stop! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up! Ah! Not what I meant to do either. So big. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do to keep myself occupied. 
while I wait for these to start. Just take some photos. Then you get a, get a selfie. To hide all of them. <laughs> oh, that means it's starting. No. Oh. Fucking gold bucks respawn and it just aggroed them and it put all my Pokemon away. Rude. I was like, ooh, it's starting. No, it's not. <laughs> You're just interrupting my playtime. You actually live that. Ah, oh, excuse me. Anyway, hopefully we find 15 Magnemites in this singular outbreak. That would be wonderful. A barrel. Okay, so it may be angry at me. You know why they're angry at me? Okay, you're angry at me. Ow, okay. No taken. Sheesh. I just trying to film like a documentary or something. He stayed quite a while to spawn in. Hello! Or not spawn in, start. Sheesh. We're just chilling here. There we go. Come on, give me like 500 mag. That's a good star. Let's go. Let's go. Where's my snowballs? Consider the fact that I, I yeah, I guess I uh, should have paid more attention how much space I had, shouldn't I have? Um Oops! Those are no worries, no worries. I tend to be late for existence, so <laughs> I guess I should, yeah, I, I should have emptied my inventory when this started. Whoops. I think I would have learned that lesson 300 hours into the game, but no. Ah, it's like 275. Don't be ridiculous. You learn it in that in the next 25 hours. Now the giant. Oh, I didn't get a shiny Murkrow not that long ago earlier today, so that was pretty lucky. We'll see. Uh, See if that luck continues today or not. Oh, I fucked that up just so badly. That's two. We just need one more Magnemite caught. Please don't be a Magneton. Thank you, game. Let's go! Okay, well, I mean, if there's more, that would be lovely. I doubt there will be. The caps at three guaranteed, you know, rare spawns. And they usually seem to happen earlier than later. But, uh... We'll see if anything else shows up. If Eevee Shiny... Ooh, it evolved into Umbreon Shiny... Ooh, nice, nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any in the Eevee Illusions. That's something I would like. There's some nice ones in there. Oh, we need a good nature to uh, Rhyperior. <laughs> Regular, non-alpha Rhyperior. That's worth catching. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not getting any more Magnemites. 
least we finished the catching. It's something. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if I still need an Alpha Vaporeon, actually. I probably need a good natured one if I don't have one, if I already have one. Is Pond one? Oh, that's Duke. Well, they're just gonna zoom in circles here and do nothing. It's trying to be time efficient, so I keep battling a bunch of them. But it's not particularly time efficient. You see tomorrow? Okay, rip. See you tomorrow. Thanks for saying hello. <laughs> Apples. I'm running around partially, I'm like, maybe I'll find something I missed. <laughs> ah, it's about to end. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, if we don't get into battles, this at least makes this a little more time efficient. Well, we caught our Magnemites. Hopefully we only need, like, four more distortions. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We got a Lincoln Cable? That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, it's a step in the right direction. We have to evolve one as well. We'll have to keep that in mind. A little bit of progress there. <laughs> one X is our... <laughs> Uh, Magnemite! We caught them all. Let's go. So, step in the right direction. That's like, all we can do is take a step in the right direction. Uh, we should be able to get the mints finally. And then, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I want to do from here. I guess I'll... I'll have to see. I have to see what you know, options we have for outbreak stuff. Really? Yeah, it's really sucks that we just have to like dedicate a bunch of time to this specifically. So we're not really gonna make much overall progress. I think it's warning. Although I'm probably gonna faint him. I mean, I guess in reality, this is probably not the correct pick. I probably should go in for Monferno because I don't have anything shiny in that line, but. I'm not that desperate for a shiny Monferno. But yeah, between the fucking uh, apoms and the magnemites, man. There's just a lot of RNG that, like, really needs to work in our general favor. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna pause the timer for the entire duration of this, because that'll make things easier. See how much this does. I might actually have to spark them. Because we're a physical attacker.
We should try to make sure we get back hits, though. I'll we'll just sort of see how this generally goes. Fingers crushed, it goes smoothly. Okay, yep, we'll spark him then. Physical Hi Spiel! Physical attack just for the win! Hi Spiel! <laughs> yeah, so we just gotta get a bunch of strong style. hard too because yeah it's like prioritizing Pachirisu trees is kind of easy because you, you know whenever you just see any you know halfway decent outbreak or now massive mass outbreak I think I feel like it's hard when you compare this to um to uh, yeah a lot of the other Pokemon that we had to prioritize for whatever reason because this has to be completely independent of massive mass outbreaks, and that just makes it much trickier. Yeah, I really, my, my, my timer's gonna probably be like a minute off because of all the out of battle stuff, but. That's fine. It's fine, we'll just get it on the five minute spawn and it will go well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is another thing. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is something I do off stream because I can literally just leave it open AFK at like work and see if anything spawns. I don't know. I don't know what the best approach to all this is. There's three of them in this fight. Yeah. Try again. Better than committing. This is the last three, it looks like. Unless I'm missing one. I feel like we've fainted that many. Well, I guess it would have been... Uh, like seven of them? Something like that. Okay, whatever. I'm just fighting this. Maybe it'll work itself out. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Excuse me. It did work out. Cool. Okay. You know what? Just to get a little bit of time, I'm gonna start the timer now. Slightly catch up to where we were. We got about three minutes in game time. In the meantime, I will just go fly around. See if I got any lucky shinies. I'm like, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is not worth the effort given that, like, 
Dynamite only spawns in Outbreaks anyway. Not Outbreak, Distortions. Wow. Um. Or I could try to do like one distortion a day. So I'm not like, so I just like, I don't want to make, sh I don't want to like halt progress on literally every other Pokemon. For the sake of the Magnemites. Cause like we're getting like no other progress as a result. out here. I'm going to take a look at um, Nine Tails. I assume that we could just hear it if it was shiny, to be honest, but without flying up, but I do it to be safe. I don't know every specific about how, like the radius and the way that it goes about playing the noise. So I'm assuming the first thing was not a successful spawn. I'll wait another five minutes, see if we get anything then. Now we'll just kind of go from there. Looks like Bridget sent a response on the Murkrow. What'd she say? She said, Orpal. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. pretty much uh, what it is. I'll hit her with the old, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Anything here? Yeah, not only have we had not the greatest luck with the distortions, we also haven't had any crazy shiny luck either. Wink wink nudge nudge game. <laughs> you know, hubba hubba shiny shiny. You know, you scratch my back, and you keep scratching my back, because, like, I don't want my life to be annoying. What am I looking at? Oh, it's a Pikachu! I didn't know Pikachu spawned here! Did I know they spawned there? I don't know, I don't, I don't recall them spawning there. Maybe they do, and I just didn't remember. 
two minutes before we know if we're, if we're giving up on the distortion. about a minute before we know. For sure. Come on, give me a give me a give me a thing, game. Be nice. Be nice. Let me not suffer. Please for will me. What a little what all me I'm not liking these odds, Chief! Not even an A-pom for poor me! Yeah, I don't think it's happening. Come on, last second! thought that you could find a space-time continuum. How pathetic. Okay. Um, yeah, we're probably better off just grinding up normally. Okay, well, I'm fine with this one, actually. Uh, and then we catch Perugly, so... This could work okay. Got it. Okay. I'm just gonna do the normal route again. I'm like, yeah, we should stop doing it and does it again. I definitely have that issue. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll stop here. Goes again. Like, I get really determined to do something, no matter how tedious. And I'm like, yes, I'm gonna do it. That's how I'm able to accomplish some things that I set my mind to. Not all of them, because I'm not good at accomplishing things. So yeah, it's definitely my stubbornness coming through. Oh, the little Rackmick 100. Your stubbornness to find space-time distortions <laughs> is making things harder than it needs to be. Pretty sure we have Alpha Happini, but I don't know if we have a good nature one. Okay. 
try that again. Togepi! I wasted five little iron there. My life is over. an alpha. It's funny given there's already an alpha over here. <laughs> Bridget got back to me, let me see. Sorry, I'm messaging my girlfriend. Right. Two Alpha Staravias here? Oh, it's just a Star after never mind. I saw the little red eye and I was like, ah, oh, yes, red eyes. No. Yeah. In about a minute, there'll be a, a, a check for the uh, distortions. I really just don't know how what I really don't know what the odds are, unfortunately. No shiny there. I don't know what just got angry. Okay, the check's about to happen. Nope, didn't happen. Okay, five more minutes! Yippee! <laughs> there we go. I gotta pick that up with my, with my hands! Let's see. Oh, it's not shiny. I guess I could just check the rest of this area for fun. Try to get to whopping 15 minutes instead of 10. Oh, grab the iron. Let me throw. <laughs> Good. 
three more minutes, then we get a check. Oh shit, the box is sparkling. That's crazy. here haven't gotten much uh, in terms of interesting shiny odds or anything this is uh not really gotten this very far we managed to do like I don't know Three Magnemite in like 45 minutes? I mean, that's pretty horrendous. <laughs> just, just the worst. Just terrible. Just a real stinkeroonie. That means all that we've really accomplished so far today is uh, three Magnemite. Not a very big accomplishment, if you ask me. See if anyone else has any recommended methods for this shit. Because, yeah, like, I need the Cornet Highlands as well, but I literally need, like, one of each of the fossil Pokemon from those. Like, that's not too bad. Next timer. What is that noise? <laughs> Heard something. Nope, no distortion. Oh, fucking. Oh my god. Every time I go to be like, yeah, there's none. Okay, let's just try to like blitz through the, um, it's like hopefully a shiny doesn't elude me or something weird. Be there right when it starts because I swear that other time in the um, Meyer lens we weren't there when it started and we didn't get any of the rare spawns. There was not a single Porygon. Makes me a little paranoid. Oh, there's a second half of my trick. I was like, that seems like it's a little bit further than normal. I it just like wandered weirdly. Right, I can just put my timer here. Inventory. Okay, we actually got space this time. Cool. Chill. We didn't get any photos of July score last time, so we may as well say hello to him. 
asking? <laughs> yes, you're an angry boy. It's gonna vibe. Hmm. See, now we have to faint him. Uh, we gotta basically pray we don't get Magnetons too, or Magnezone. Like, we have to pray we get three of them. So, we still need to faint. We need 11 total faints. So, at least four more outbreaks. Or, not distortions, not outbreaks. We have a pretty good luck at this 10 minute mark, it seems like. Like, this method works, it's just not fast. <laughs> Let me see. Come on, Legends. Perseus. Fastest way to get distortions to spawn. Let me just see if there's anything. Anything of interest. Yeah, it basically says set down the controller and don't do anything. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, you know, so I'm instead of just going AFK, I'm flying around, but I'm not doing anything. Yeah, so it just pauses the timer if I'm in a battle. That's what I assumed. Ooh, okay. Okay. So I guess nothing, nothing surprising. Okay. Yeah, it seems like the uh, the rare spawns happen usually pretty immediately. So that's like. The one thing that is kind of good is I just kind of know quickly. Where I'm at with shit. No! My worst nightmare! Fuck! I'm like three spawns. Pray to God that we at least get one more Magnemite. I'm gonna be fucking annoyed. <laughs> such bad RNG, dude. Uh, after all that, we got like 20 minutes just to get one. God, please. I don't think we're getting any more. Oh well. No! Wait, I think it hit. Oh, I'm lucky that that worked out that way. Well, cool. as I, I do, you need a good-natured regular Hyperior. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident at this point that we're not getting any more. And I'll stick around just on the off chance, but... 
May as well just do the sin the grass strat. Try to catch it for fun. Or they can fight me. This is how I'm keeping myself occupied without getting into fights. Oh no, he's angry. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Rip Bozo. Well, we're successfully catching him, I guess. Always just you get three rare spawns. Oh, that's about to end. See if anything else spawns. Probably not. <laughs> they were about to. Well. Yeah, it could have been a little better to be honest. One's better than zero, but that means we could be between what? Anywhere from like, that didn't increase the, the minimum number that we even needed to do. I don't think. Like, that didn't. Yeah, it didn't get us anywhere. Um. Oh, I didn't see that. Um. What am I saying? Um. Yeah, like, because that basically means we can either get this finished in. Uh, four. Or, uh, distortions, or it could be 10. Anywhere in between. Maybe even more, theoretically, if I'm getting really bad luck. But I think Magnemite, Magnemite's the most common, so it probably won't take more than 10. But that... What? Assuming it... Even, even if we get them on an average of every 10 minutes... That's... I mean, probably, what, 2 hours? Because of, you know, loading in and out and stuff, too? This is gonna take at least 2 hours, basically, is probably what is gonna happen, unfortunately. Okay, you know, I'm gonna... Oh, never mind, we're good. Uh, I don't think we have enough to do men's stuff yet again. Well, we get some money out of that. That's 143 Pokeballs. Yippee! Yippee! We did stuff! Uh, wait, is it only 8? I mean, did I do my... I think I did my math wrong. Wait, no. 7 and 8 is 15, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay, it could be three to three to eight then. Okay, okay, so it's mildly, mildly better. I mean, that's probably that's not even guaranteeing that we're gonna get him every ten minutes in intervals. So, I don't know. what do we got? I'll do side <laughs> I still have a quick mental break. See if I, I get a nice shiny. Maybe that would make that make me feel a little. I mean, I feel I feel a little a lot better if I were to. I don't know, game get a shiny Psyduck. You know, because I like shiny Psyduck. Mm. Right, game. Mm -hmm. Ever consider it? Huh? 
Nudge, nudge. Fire! That was so fast to get angry! Now I gotta beat you all up! <laughs> oh boy. Gotta beat up all the babies. I guess I could have just hidden the grass and this wouldn't have been an issue, but. We're actually super close, I think, to finishing Electivire, so. <laughs> That's we get we get that out of this. Well, I guess if there's a single positive thing, at least we will finish a Pokemon today. Given we've been streaming for almost two hours and we haven't finished a singular Pokemon. And we really haven't even made much progress on the thing that was giving us trouble to begin with. Damn, I guess I'm gonna have to find more time to walk on the treadmill or something. <gasps> Make up for the time here. Wah, wah. That's not, nope, not the sound. Can't say I didn't try. You know, I, I guess I should probably go check to see if there's a shiny Badoof, because the game loves giving me those. <laughs> Maybe I'll just end up with one of those, you know? That would be pretty, pretty something. Oh, we finished Electivire! Yippee, okay. Everyone scream and shout and let it all out. Because that might be the only thing we finished today. <laughs> Depending on how stubborn I end up being. Yeah, I really should. I should probably just cap, like, try to do one distortion, or one or two a day. And cap it there, like... Otherwise I'm going to drive myself insane. Oh yeah, I do just register. Like, I think tomorrow we're either not gonna have le time for Legends Arceus, or we're gonna end up having a shorter time. I believe me, Bridget, and then Jack slash Jeb Hatir are gonna be doing a different Pokemon thing, an Emerald Cross, when we start a little, I guess, challenge run, so to speak. I guess challenge, but it's something I've done before, just in other games. But Emerald Cross is just like, it's easily accessible and it's the superior way to play at least the original Gen 3 games, not including Omega Ruby F Sapphire, which don't really run particularly great on emulation, so it's better just to do the original, so you may as well go with Emerald Cross because it's just a quality of life feature upgrade and you get a lot of tag ability anyway, so if you don't want that many of the quality of life features, you don't even need them. So, you know, you got that, all right? The, the typical Emerald Cross enjoyer. Reddit losers. Oh, I like Pokemon Heart Gold Cell Silver Base Edition! <laughs> Me when someone likes yucky, stinky Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. <laughs> That's me whenever that happens, so. How to annoy gamer bros in two seconds. We're actually super close to finishing up, uh... Um... Da, 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 Infornape! Not Infornape, Info Infornape! I infor... I don't know. Funny voice. I think it's literally just three moves, so... I'm gonna check the Badoo, Badoo, Badoofs? Badoofs, not Badoos. Different Pokemon. 
see if my absurd luck with just Bidoof's and Staravia's. There's also Staravia's here. Like, oh, we can go check for Cherubi. We don't need Cherubi anymore. We completed Cherubi. We'll never need to worry about Cherubi again. But they're silly. But we never need to have to ever worry, thinky, thinky, think, worry about them. Alright. Let's move Electivire out of here. Uh, I think we're going to start working on Honchkrow next, because I forgot there are technically two spawns for this thing. The Alpha and then the um, one that flies around in the... Uh, and the, 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 the... Coast Lens. Cobalt Coast Lens, that's the name. Okay. So for you, we need Snarl, Dark Pulse, Strong Style. Snarl, Dark Pulse. We could do this, I think. Just so we have, we're not stuck with just one move type. Cool. Uh, we can actually pump some of these into it as well. A little lower level. I don't think it's gonna have any issues. But yeah, we got Snarl. Oh wait, I guess I didn't need to do physical there. Oops. Well, it helps. The Night Slash. I'm literally just bringing it all the way up to 9. I don't really give a shit. We got enough stones and we're not going through stuff super quick right now. Okay. Electivire is complete! Yippee! We completed a singular Pokemon! It's better than zero! I mean, it's not wrong. It is, in fact, better than zero. Oh, we'll do Yanma. Let's see what interests me, and we'll go from there. I do. I still want shiny Yanma, so. We got the shiny on Mega, but not the shiny on Mo. Do we get any lucky shinies on the way there? So just the one, okay. Well, I'll finish up Infernape here and then slowly keep working on Togekiss's Agile. It's got a ways to go, but... And then we set uh, Hunchkrow needs strong as well. Okay. Fuck, I hit the wrong move. Damn, one, one move. Wasted. Gone as shit. Useless. Destroyed. So silly. I gotta beat him up. Honestly, yeah, no, I, was, I just got beat up the one anime episode that I recently watched with about Yanma in the uh, the what Johto Journeys, I think it is, is the show, or the it's one of the Johto up seasons, the si the second Johto based season, whatever it's fucking called. Um, yeah, there's a Yanma episode. And it just goes nyan nyan. <laughs> it's like a terrible impression, but goofy. The episode's actually kind of sad. It's about a kid like being like having to like give up his Yanma because uh, it keeps causing like damage to a town, and it's like glass because its wings are swing so fast that it destroys the glass. Um, and the kid's all sad, but then the Yanma like learns to, to, to take out its energy like in battle, and then they're able to like rekindle their friendship. Thankfully, I'm like it's like the first. Half the episode is like genuinely kind of sad. I'm like, please stop! I want to be happy. But then it ends happily, so 
And it ends with everyone in the village being like, your Yan was actually not bad, because it helped them deal with Team Rocket. So. Hi, welcome to Sh Dog Doo Doo Stinky Terrible Plot Summaries with Rackmic 100. That's me, by the way. I'm Rackmic 100. Uh, in the meantime, I think we should quickly slap, um... Maybe Dark Tricks in the uh, party. Try to get that evolved. And maybe the Magnemite as well. Just to uh, make sure we're you know, getting that done. That shouldn't take too long. Maybe we'll work on like Grottle or something, just because it's a little easier. Or am I missing one? Oh, uh, don't tell me one of them is invisible. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Ew, crisis averted. Let's see, I think Magnemite, Magnemite just, it has to just be level 30, so it might be already able to evolve. I hope it is, because that will just make things easy. Yeah, I'd, ra I'd still rather prioritize, uh, you know. Oh yeah, we can, yes. Do we, we need a good-natured one? Uh, yep, we need both Magnemite and Magneton. Let me just see if I need to qualify. You qualify. I guess we're better off doing Magna Might having a good natured Magnemite over Ton because we could always evolve a future Magnemite, but we can't de evolve a Magneton. So okay. I I know that sounded stupid because it was. But yeah, okay, so that'll be that little bit of stuff dealt with. That's one last Last thing I have to think about ever again. We need to evolve one more Magnemite. Yeah. And then Dartrix really only needs one level. You know what? Let's just do that real quick and just get it over with. Just go fight the Raichu, LMAO. Super quick and easy. We get a move off. We don't have to think about it anymore. I'll, uh, I'll just slap it in the box and organize it later. Oh, that wasn't enough? Okay. Oh, hey. Can't take too long. I'm surprised it actually didn't evolve from or just get one level from that. Wow, you are not even that close. Um What do I wanna do about that? Eh, I'll just go to the next area and worry about it later. Oopsie poopsies. Oopsie doopsie scoopsies, you know. I think we're still just short of, uh... Um... The mints, so... Infernape is done too! Okay, we at least finished two Pokemon today. I can only complain a little bit. Now we did complete technically two Magnemite tasks, so... Return to the village. Oh, there goes the village. Oh, there goes the village. <laughs> what does that even mean? Okay, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom drink break. Uh, I'm just gonna leave you out because I'm curious if you fall asleep or if you just sit here and stare at me intensely the entire time. So, I'll be right back.
snoozing. Got sleep. Oh, he's so silly. Look at him. <laughs> Nobody wink! RCS. The okay, cat did walk in with a pretty big smile on my face. He just, uh, he just falls asleep standing up. Right, I'm gonna get the center. I'm just curious, how does he react if I wake him up? Hello! Whoa! He's like, I wasn't sleeping! I don't know what you're talking about! <laughs> okay. What do I got? Uh, telepathy. That actually works out really well. Okay. We need to uh, catch this. I'm going to spawn and immediately save. And then... And mark it on the map. Actually, I know where that is. I don't need them. Okay. And the timer starts. Okay. It's nice when everything kind of just like works out nicely with this. Like, if there's a regular outbreak that works well, because, you know, there's at least some of that accrued time building. Oh, fuck, there's a one here. God dang it, I didn't see that. Okay, good, wall rain's not here. We're probably not going to be fighting that much, so... Okay, hopefully we get an napalm too, because like, kind of the other thing we need here, which, honestly, I'm more worried about, I think, Magnemite right now than the napalms, purely because, um, you know, napalms, you can just keep resetting over and over until you find them, even if it's, it's a little tedious, but like, there's no waiting involved. It's just go, 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 go. You leave, reset, leave, reset. You know, if you don't find them. Well, with Magnemite, you just kind of have to sit and wait and do nothing. Or just, like, stall. Not our first Toga P Rodeo. Distraction technique. No one's sleeping? I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me if I catch these or not. I mean, unless it's shiny, then I want to catch it. <laughs> They're so silly when they run. You gotta wait that extra second so they start running. <laughs> it's just like so evil. Let's see if you can get the back hits. You're more likely to catch them. Oh, sorry. Oh no! These guys ran away. Where'd they go? Go, Guppy! There you are. Okay, you hit level 36. We'll probably have to do a pause in a sec. Oh, that's fine. Oh, look at the sleeping weasel! Uh, and then, yeah, other than Dartrix, we don't have anything we need to actively evolve, so we can probably just slap a throttle in our party and get a couple levels as we go around our stuff. I think that's the best call. I love 
no. Ah, crud. Uh, can't go two seconds without accidentally encountering a freaking Geo dude, a little rock with arms. Timer's back. We have about a minute still of in-game time. Still on that with. Or uh, a distortion. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick. Do the evolution. Let me do a real quick check, make sure there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. Besides. I mean, I guess. Technically, Clefable would be better. We already have a fairy type with us, so. Yeah, we'll just do Grottle. Thankfully, this should have no impact going just into here. Should have no impact on um, the timer. Got Gronk. So you need Bite and Leaf Blade. Don't even have X. Okay. Gronk's gonna need some uh, levels, and also. Oh yeah, we gotta use more, uh... Grit dust, eh? Well... I'm not gonna worry about it. I guess this is another case where I could've used the... Granny Grottle. Instead of using the regular Grottle. Oops, oh well. I mean... I've already committed to Gronk. Yeah, so either maybe we'll, maybe we'll just have to turn some of that dust in the. Well, I mean, I guess I have to go through and see what the Path of Solitude Pokemon we're going to be using, like which specific Pokemon are going to be used in the Path of Solitude challenge, and make sure they at least get the dust before we transfer, because we should have uh, a large majority, I would assume. Of the Pokemon, because there's only a handful of Pokemon that we need good natures for. Uh, about 25, and at least to have good, like, uh, non alpha versions. So, a couple of those may have alpha versions with good natures. Uh, actually, one of them's Bastiodon and one of them's Magikarp, neither of which, or both of which we've already completed the Path of Solitude for just the requests. So. Like, uh, most of them can get grit dusted and grit graveled. Even grit stoned and rocked, to be honest. Like, if I'm pretty sure I'm committing to that one. Unless they're, like, super low leveled. Oh, or if I think I can get a, a higher level one easily. Like, if I can get, like... Yeah, like, if I have a good natured... I don't know. Graveler, let's just say, but then I get I need a, a good natured alpha graveler that might be way higher leveled I, That actually probably is not even true, but okay, so it does not look like we got the first batch of Didn't get lucky enough for the first batch The first roll for a distortion I guess I really should have uh, taken my bathroom drink break inside of the coastlands to let the timer run. I didn't really think that through. Oops. Yeah, I'll take a quick trip through here. Give them any shinies, grab a little bit of iron. You know, just Typical vibe stuff. Ooh, na 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 na, missed me, missed me. Now you gotta live with the regret of knowing you missed me. I'm not gonna want it to kiss me. I mean, unless it wants to. That's between me, me and Magmar. And I only am gonna do it with the Magmar's consent.
Consent is important. Mm -hmm. We'll just keep doing our shiny checks because I got nothing else to do. Nothing else planned while I wait. Come on, shiny Celio or Walrein. Or Empoleon or Actillery. Or Toxicroak. Just an Alpha Walrein next to the Alpha Empoleon. That is like Danger Central. Funny enough, we need the regular, uh, uh Tumblestone the most out of the Tumblestones, so. May as well go for it when I can. <sighs> About two minutes until we get the next roll. The next distortion roll. Distortion roll! What the fuck? Three Piplops? That is by far the most I've ever seen. Hmm. Dick. <laughs> About a minute and a half. Oh, we can't wait until the 15 minute mark, honestly. Just based off the time we're at. One minute. Hopefully the distortion will spawn. We've had good luck at the 10 minute mark, so. Fingers, motherfucking cross. I'm still looking for a shiny Stantler. I do kind of like shiny Stantler. Shiny Weird Ear is kind of mad, but it's, it's grown on me over time, I feel like. I got one in Pokemon Home and and I was like, yeah, this is okay. It's just kind of bland. And I'm like, actually, it's kind of nice, even though it's it's not a flashy shiny, per se. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, no, I thought that was shaking. Ah! I stopped my timer. <laughs> what is that? What alpha is that? Oh, my God. Can I peek it through or something? I honestly have no idea. I think it's very feasible. We need one. Or at least a good natured one. If not, I mean, oh no, I wasted a. Fucking the higher tier ball, whatever the tier, whatever the name is. Actually, I wouldn't even be surprised if we need an alpha Merkur of good nature too. Pretend I didn't fuck that up. Thanks. Nope, okay, no, we didn't get the portion. Oh my god, these fucking Murkrows. I've used many a ball.
Who's actually a catch? from doing this in a while. Not sure statistically if we're unlucky or not. I don't know how many Pokemon we've... I haven't been counting the exact number of Pokemon that we've, like, passed. I don't think... We haven't had, like, good luck, I wouldn't say. I mean, we got the Murkrow, but I feel like we've passed you know, a significant amount of Pokemon. I don't know. We're probably like technically slightly unlucky. Is is what I, I I feel like. I that might just be me being entirely wrong. As I said, we've not really been counting, but it feels like we've got more than what like seven hundred. That's the last move count. Two minutes. Not the Scroopy. No way! Trying to catch your older brother who's much cooler! Oh my god, it blew my cover! Dick. Alphas, man, they're not being nice to me right now. I really hope we get this fucking distortion. With like 45 seconds. Oh, and you're in the tree. bug ever. Okay, that was not, no pun intended there. Can I back hit it? And cool. Go on over there sleeping! I think they're snoozing. Come on, give it to me. About to okay, if we don't get in the next like 15 20 seconds, it's, it's a no go. Not looking too hot, Chief. Please, please, just show up. No, I don't think we got it. Unlucky. Not much you can do about it, though. Well, we tried. I'm out of space for iron? What the fuck, really? Oh. Oh. That was not on my expected list. for now. Uh, we should be able to get a mint thing, I hope, right? Shush, shush. Oof. Get some mints, get some mints, get some minty, minty mints. Yeah, just a little teensy bit there. Not sure it doesn't seem too bad, thankfully. The moves aren't bad, and there's, they're not super high in number. And then I don't think I can't handle... Hmm. 
Okay. Great timing, we have finished the harvest. I got nothing to write home about. Would it be kind of interesting if they let you find mints in the distortions? I just thought of that, I don't know. Nothing that's like that big of a deal, but I feel like it, given the rewards they give in those, that would have fit in nicely. Yeah, we're here. Let's just buy a few more regular Pokeballs. Oops. Oh, that was the exact number for 999. Cool. Cool, we got exactly 999. That should last us a little bit. Like, half hour. <laughs> Do one more, and then I think we'll just stop with this outbreak shenanigans or distortion shenanigans for the day. Okay, timer is alive. We'll go check a pub here. Shiny Apple Warren. Damn. One day. A man can dream. Maybe we'll just get really lucky here. If we don't get any a pounds, maybe it'll give it to the distortion in five minutes. You know, that would just really make me happy, game. You know that? And don't you want to make me happy? Please? At least give me, like, an a pound. Okay, at least give me the five-minute distortion. Oh, fuck, it's raining. Is that going to cause issues? I think that fucks with the timer. I could be wrong. I swear I've heard that though. But that certain weather, maybe that's thunderstorms? Is that a thing even? Story. Oh, what the fuck? Um, okay. Okay, come on. The timer run at their pause for just a sec. Okay, just to make up for those few seconds of me going, wah, wah, hoo, wah. Togepi is gonna get me caught there. Like you ran me out, buddy. Oh, don't rat me out. Bonk. That's a butterfly. Well, the one positive out of this is we catch random alphas, so... Okay. 
Okay, I was just doing that to, in case the other one broke out, it'll make my life easier. Because <laughs> then I'd be able to feed the one, but that just didn't, didn't matter. And then I didn't catch that one, but I caught the alpha. Well, now I'm just kind of grabbing as many of these as I... I don't even need the Viva Choke. I mean, of course I need Viva Choke. Psh. Why wouldn't I? Who doesn't need a good Viva Choke once in a while? Don't mind me, Chansey. Do we have any? Okay. We don't have the, the double XP thing. I may as well. I actually don't know if I even if I need a chancy. I might actually still need a chancy that's a good nature off of. If not, it's just good XP. Okay, no distortion spawn. Sunk cost fallacy, baby. Thank you. My cost may have been sunk, but my fallacy lives on. Awuga. Anyways, it's good for just some quick little XP on Gronk. Don't even really think it did that much, but. Space fly. Wait. Oh. Oh, it's a Pokeball. Okay. That's whatever. Fine. I'm too lazy to do anything about that. For like one Pokeball. Did not consider that, but I'm too lazy to deal with it. Yeah, that's the one downside, I guess, to having. Or 99 Pokeballs, huh? Oh, to be fair, you don't really that often even pick up Pokeballs. It's just in those crates, really. So, uh, oops. Like, if you're not gonna give me the Distortion and some Magnemites, at least give me, like, a Shiny game. Oops, I keep going the wrong way for some reason. Keep putting in Ursa Luna. Oh, there you are. I'm not sure it wasn't shiny and it just was not showing up. <laughs> and no shiny yet. Oh, no, I thought it was pretty nice, so. I would willingly have one. If it arises. Because, yeah, I, I had the shiny Vulpix, but I don't know if I'd rather keep it as Vulpix or make it into Ninetales, because they're both really nice. Can I, like, go up here? Well, let's try to skip it. I'll pass them. <laughs> And away we go! Got a minute and a half. 
and then we'll see where we're at. Cool, I didn't pick up a regular Pokeball. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I guess if I really wanted XP, I could just run around and try to catch things with regular Pokeball. That wouldn't even, like... That wouldn't kind of... It wouldn't be battling, and I wouldn't be going into any menus. And it would give Grottle some XP. <laughs> Although I'm not sure that would really be worth the effort. <laughs> Remorade. I would like a shiny Octillery as well. They're both quite nice. Between the purple and the yellow. They're not like cohesive in the shinies between the two, but I, I like both, uh, both shinies. Oh, I got ratted out. I was going to see if I could sneak up on that one. I can grab the Pokeball. Oh! I didn't even pay attention. It was 10 minutes. Uh, where is it? Okay, hang on. Okay. So 10 minutes seems to be, like, the most common time in which they spawn for whatever reason. I don't know if it's just luck or if there's, like, some mathematical reason that happens where it's the most likely time, I don't know. I think if certain time intervals are more likely. Now we just gotta hope for a significant amount of, uh... Magnemites. for the sneaky play. I don't need this, but... This big Psyduck. Hello. Don't tell anyone what I'm that I'm here, okay? Yeah, just go skip over there. <laughs> Shit. Well, there goes my genius plan. A Grottle and Hunch Grove for some photos. We didn't do that yet. Hi. Pink. So true. Oh! Oh. I have way too many screenshots from this game. So, you ready for the uh, the, the, the to, to get your Pokedex entry worked out? Yeah, I don't take that as a yes. Oop. You guys ready to do some Dex work, boys? And and girls, I don't know, I don't know what gender they all are. Got this. Together, as a team. Look how happy my main character looks too. And they like talk. Nah. You wanna give him a little petty, petty pet? A petty, petty pet! Who oh, gets your pets? Oh, you get your pets! Oh, they all turned to look at me for a moment. They're having such a good time. 
I'm a queen, this is so silly. Look at how like happy it is. It always has a big old smile on its face. <sighs> okay. Okay, our prime our pretty much earlier our only goal here is gonna be to Get Magnemite stuff done. I'm preemptive. It's a warm up throw. Okay, I feel like that's a good sign given we caught it. Munch, munch, munch. You like it? Oh. You have a headache? What's going on there, buddy? What's bugging you? You want another snack? Chillin. Would you just want like a snack? Uh. Gotta keep yourself occupied in between these. Oh, the dust axe is asleep! There's music. Shh. <laughs> Look at how happy they are! They're having a good dream! Sneaky. <laughs> uh. Okay, this is taking a while. I'm just going around doing goofy stuff now while I wait. Mm. Any day now. Because yeah, I figure we'll do this and then maybe we could try to do a massive mass outbreak because we have not done any of that today. Maybe prioritize finishing up the uh, Toga Kiss. Up, oh, you're back to sitting! Oh, there's another dust duck sleeping all the way over there. You got a headache. You poor thing. Oh, wait. Ah! Run! This is. I feel like usually one of the first things to spawn, yeah, is always the uh, one of the rare spawns. That's what it seems like. 
don't know if that's coincidence or if it's actually like programmed to do it that way. I swear, almost always like the first one. And one of these is a uh, first one. Let's try to grab everything we can here. Ah! Okay, well, I, maybe I got a little greedy there. I was just having fun, not gonna lie. <laughs> we should have to take these out, I think, right? Yeah, that's two Magnemites. Honestly, pretty good, pretty good start. A third would obviously be lovely, but two is not bad. But yeah, we are making progress on this. It's slow, but we're making this progress still. Oh no, not Mud Bomb. Uh, not Stab, but we gotta get some x scissors off, so. I mean... Distortion Pokemon give extra money. May as well go for the catch. <laughs> Let's okay. Listen here, you little stinky head. One more shot. If I don't get it on the second one, then I'll eat it up evilly. <laughs> Horribly, cruelly. No need to do that. Okay, so we should still get one more rare spawn. Will hopefully be a Magnemite and not a Magneton or Magnezone. <sighs> okay, we got two. <laughs> you know, like the least I could have done was been like an alpha or something, you know? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, we'll just do this again. Ah, we don't want to use the caster friends if we don't need to. I may as well just beat this thing up. Actually, we should be like a strong step. We're gonna try to catch things in a sec anyway, because it's faster. Yeah, we still have yet to find a single Pokemon, a uh, shiny Pokemon in the distortion. Who I was thinking. So maybe one day. That would be pretty sick. I mean, most of the Pokemon in here we're gonna have perfected. So, outside of the Magna, Magna, not even, we have Magna Zone, we don't have Magna Mite or Magna on, but I think that's all the items. I'm not really here for the items that much anyway, but I'm like, well, I'm here, I might as well just grab them. Okay, we'll just assume we have everything. And then try to catch a couple of things. Before it despawns, nope. I'm like, at least spawn something kind of interesting. An EV Illusion or something. Don't have space for a ball of mud. Big rip. Um. Okay. 
Right as it got to me, too. Damn, no hoppo berries. I craft anything else that would benefit us. Man greedily tries to get every item he can. Ah, I can click at that. Okay, I can get I can get over a petrol bear. Yes. We're doing pretty good on the catches. I'm honestly surprised uh, how how many we've been able to successfully catch. Okay, well that was just whiff after whiff. <laughs> I love the Mr. Mime like charging at me. Got you through. Oh my god, please. Oh my god. I'm on a roll! Did I miss? God damn it. I, I, I miss so many of those. I don't think it's been long enough for the trees to respawn. I guess I can just really quickly check the apom trees for the hell of it. Just in case. Worth a shot. Those might just be the same as they were, but you know, it kept two extra seconds. So who gives a shit? Yeah, um, I think we're literally gonna be one Pokemon short of a min, aren't we? Of the mints. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not even gonna check. Cause I'm, I'm like 99% sure we don't. We can't get them yet. A little bit of extra mud bombs, actually doing pretty good there. Yep, yep. And okay, so now we need six. We've been getting an average of like two per thing. We have to maybe three or four times. Two if we're lucky. Okay, it's actually not too bad. I mean, that could still take forty-five to an hour, probably, but achievable. Okay, let's do a massive mass outbreak and then we gotta wrap up for the night. Unfortunately. Although I'm actually tempted just to do another. Um Okay. Now let's just Yeah, actually, let's just do another one. Fuck it. I don't care. I changed my mind. What if there were six shinies there? Oh no. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I want to just do another one. Unless the next thing that we see is, like, amazing. But... Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Do one more. I kind of just want to keep working on this. That's just where my... That's what my brain's thinking about right now. Oh crap. The timer is rolling. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to ask for a shiny alpha wall rain dam. I could have gotten it, but I forgot to ask for it. This Kronk is slowly getting some levels, which is good. Kronk is probably one of the easiest Pokemon we ever made in. Because the move, or like, maybe not easiest, but like, 
least time, like least number of things needed in terms of moves on the lower end. I mean, I think we just need what thunder shock on Magnemite when that happens. But we have to go through this process to get there. So we we've got like one a pump today after all this too, unfortunately. But you know, we're not obviously we're not even really technically looking for a pump. We're just doing it because it. It can technically be here. Like we're we're technically looking for a palm, I guess, but it's it's we're looking for Magnemite. Cause I just want that shit off my dinner plate. I don't know if I can. Know. I like money, but I don't really need it that bad anymore. Let's be real. Oh come on, all of them are gonna be fucking. Mickey. Kind of a little kindness game for poor little old me. Maybe it'll give me a shiny this time, because we've gone through this map many times with no luck. Shiny or like a five minute fun for the thing or you know, something of interest. Maybe like, a, like a cool alpha that I need, I don't know. Something. Please, Mr. Hush, cool evil video game. <laughs> Who hates me and wants nothing but my pain and suffering. Or so it feels. Don't worry, chat out, I'm not here to hurt ya. No, no, you're you're worrying. But don't worry, and then you alerted every Pokemon ever in existence. Okay, it's shaky. Literally like all of them. I'm like, I just need a little bit of extra tumble stone! So we didn't get a ton, unfortunately, done today in terms of moves, but we're working towards something that we, we got to do regardless, and it's it, it's very rarely going to come up organically anymore, because the only chances it really has to come up organically is when we're going around doing outbreaks, and even then we have like one check at the five minute mark, because odds are we're not staying here for more than ten minutes outside of battle, you know, unless we're really battling them. And the APOM checks are only going to take like a minute at most, I feel like. So. So this was going to have to be done regardless. So there was always going to be a, a day with less productivity unless it was like a weekend day where I have five hours or something to stream, but... That would really be the only chance to get this and multiple moves stuff. I mean, we got two done. We didn't really make much progress on other Mon. Ah, oh, fuck, it's raining. That didn't seem to have an impact, did it? Fucking hope not. We're about to hit the five minute mark in 30 seconds. See if the game's nice to me. Maybe it'll be super nice for once. Please. Easy wheezy. Mm, no, was not. It hates me. The game hates me. It's official. The game hates me. It's like, wow, I can't believe you paid money for me. Oh, yeah. I, I do think spending this extra time to do this is probably worth it. Getting rid of some of the more annoying challenges sooner rather than later is going to make my life easier in the grand scheme of things. I feel like my patience level is like very slowly going down. Like. I'm not out of patience for this game by any means, but 
I probably have just just a little bit less than I did 50 hours ago. I mean, that's to be expected probably for most people. I'm not superhuman. I have a decent amount of patience and stuff for stuff like this, but uh, I'm not. I'm not a fucking miracle man. I just happen to have time and patience and a, a general stress and addiction and whatever you want to call it. Three and a half minutes, we get another check. I want to do one more distortion before we wrap up. That's my goal, I think. That we'll see if that happens or not. Where? Who? What? Gold luck? No. The raptor? What the fuck was shiny? A barrel? Oh, it's a barrel, okay. Yeah, that adds up. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, well it gave me the shiny, I guess. I mean it did, I don't know why I'm saying I guess. I think I finally I have more Pokemon now in the shiny Badoof line than I do in the shiny Star Raptor line. Which, right? I have to. I have seven in. I have two shiny Badoof, or two shiny Barrels, a shiny Badoof Alpha, and like five shiny Badoofs, right? Seven or eight, I'm mad, I'm pretty sure. A Staravia, I think I have four Staravias, a Star a Storm, a Star just like six. Yeah. I'm like 95% sure. I mean, I think. I'm happy with the Badoofs. I don't care as much about the Barrel, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I like them. But yeah, neither neither uh, the Staraptor line nor the Badoof line are anything particularly special in terms of shinies. They're not like god awful, but they're they're pretty meh. I would have preferred if I was gonna get a bunch. I would have preferred it from the Luxray line, to be honest, because that's actually a nice shiny. But you know what? I like Badoof. They're goofy. They're cute. I I, I take them. I'm not complaining. A shiny's a shiny, regardless of if he had seven of them previously. Okay, well, I only had one other but barrel, so I guess it's technically one other. And I am quite happy with the Alpha Shiny Badoof, which I will never evolve. Fuck you. I love him. He's big. What more do you want? He's big and cute and goofy and a dingus, and I love him. Like a, an endearing dingus, not like a mean dingus. I... I... Don't even have a name for him. It's my only other shiny alpha besides Heracross. I stumbled into it on complete accident, and I love him. He's big and he's doof. This has been ramblings with Ragnik 100. Okay, we got about 30 seconds till the next possible spawn, and then I have to debate if I'd rather reset or go another five minutes. If we hit the 15 minute mark, then we're for sure resetting. Um, so. I think it looks so weird from like a distance. Okay, can we get it? Okay, I don't think it happened. Yeah, I think we'll probably just want to go for the reset again. Well, eh, we could stall. I want to get one. I mean, if we don't, if we don't get it now, we don't get in another like set of fifteen minutes, and I'm calling it good for the night. But, I mean, we've generally had decent luck with it. Probably need this, don't we? I would assume. We've not found very many. Even the middle tier of the, the far traveling balls seems to be pretty effective for just like middle stage evolution alphas. 
or like early stage ones. Not not middle early. I mean first stage. The middle ball is good for early. Don't you accidentally? Don't you accidentally get yourself caught in the job with a better ball than I need to. Don't mind me. I'm just a guy. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna have to give Bridget a shiny Bidoof. You can have it in her brilliant diamond save. <laughs> they had so many of them. Unfortunately, yeah, they can't be in a sword and shield, which I think would be the most interactive of the places. Cause I don't think they're in Scarlet Violet. That I could be wrong on, but you know. Yeah, well, we're just gonna go across the sea. Now, we'll pretty much check like. I would at least confidently say a majority of the map. I gotta be safe with Basculin here. Well, okay. I'm so terrified of a shiny Basculin, but me not being able to catch it. Like, I think that is the Pokemon with the highest probability of me failing to catch it. Probably. I mean, that, yeah, that I can think of with the man. Maybe there's something else I'm not thinking of, but. We got two minutes. I think we still need a regular good natured star raptor, to be honest. Hello. Actually, we have the shiny, which has a good nature. Got here. Ah, uh, that's fine. We have the shiny, so like that's not too big of a concern. Oh, I see why it looks weird from a distance. Yeah, I see, because like the way the water is, got it. Anything else we should check? Not really. I mean, I guess we could check a little bit around here again because the floon and stuff will have spawned. But. That's really it. I got about a minute to stall for. Now we'll see if anything new showed up real quick on the beach area. In the night time. Thirty seconds. I feel like we're not gonna get lucky here, but a more so I feel like unlucky would be the right word. So it's, it's possible still. It's gotta happen in about a few seconds, please. Oh my god. That gets so scary because it's I was at like 506, right? Uh, we didn't really fight anything, but I should dump off my items. Jeez Louise. I, I'm like, yeah, the Megamite thing wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it was pretty rough. <laughs> Let's be real, don't lie me. But uh... 
We hung in there. First time we're over 999 uh, iron in like a long time. Honestly, kind of surprised. Not not complaining though. I got nothing else to do while I wait. I don't really want to fight him because that doesn't progress the timer. I mean, hey, if I get back hits, I get a little extra money. I probably, probably, if I catch them all in one Pokeball or two Pokeballs, I probably just generally make a profit, so. It's worth it. See ya. Fat. Why was that one so fast? Okay, I swear it must just be on a random fucking timer for when they start. I was looking at the speed all that time. Fuck you! Ah, not a good start. I wait 15 minutes, and the first thing I get is a fucking magneton. Ugh, please. Please be kind to my soul. Give me two. Make me not want death. I was like, what was that in the corner? It's just a skunk tank cramming itself into the corner. Okay, one Magnemite. Perfect. Okay. One is 100% better than zero. Please give me a second. If I get two, I will be very satisfied still. If I get one, a little disappointed, but it's better than zero. It wasn't a complete waste of 15 minutes then. I mean, it's not like I have any way of knowing how many are going to spawn. I almost want to do another one. That's like my dumb, addicted brain. Let's go, okay. I'll take two. I will gladly take two. Finally getting to start if I hope the game is treating you well. You know, it's been a little I've been doing a little more of a tedious thing, but it could be worse. I did find another shiny. Uh it was um something I've never gotten anything of before, which was a barrel. I have another barrel. I think I have eight shinies, I'm pretty sure, in the Badoof line. <laughs> I'm looking around going, what was it, what was it, what was it? And then it's like, oh, okay, it was just a barrel. <laughs> Honestly, like, what, if you end up, if you're intending to play, like, Brilliant Diamonds, and I see, I'll just, like, trade you a shiny Badoo from this game. See, and I have one to hang out with. I got extra. <laughs> you can run around with a shiny Badoo. I would follow you where, you, where you go. I think that is every item. You can just go hide in the grass then. They can't find me, I'm too hidden. Oh, Carnivine, you can't see me, I'm too hidden. No. -uh. No. -uh.
Pam. You know what? We'll just we'll just get a couple agile moves in, fuck it. As much as I want to, I think we should call it good right after this, so. I think we need them four Magnemites? Defa like, I feel like statistically it shouldn't take more than like three distortions, which is doable. Maybe a little time consuming at worst, but definitely doable. So. Also, at least catching Pokemon in the distortions probably helps give semi decent at least XP to um Grottle too. Ah, excuse me. Okay. Who dare? You know what? I'll give an extra ball. I was like, oh, I'm gonna use a great ball, and then I proceed to fucking miss. Fine, not even gonna get caught, yeah. Okay, fine. I don't care. Oh, no, it's fine. I don't care. Here we go. After flying over there. No. Fine! I didn't want you anyway, Carnivine! <laughs> See if I care. Yeah. Yeah. I agiled that. That was like, not a crit. The other one just tanked it pretty well, I guess. Mm -hmm. This is about to end, I'm pretty sure. That's the ending sound. Cool. Whoops. Get up whatever's in here real quick. Cause I can. And I really want to do another run through. Um. I don't want to get too late though. Nah, I should. I should be irresponsible. More often than I'm not. More often than not, I'm not responsible, and it's already starting to get tad late. It's 11:10, so I. Sleep is important. I should get sleep. We'll. We'll be. I think we'll be able to finish this up tomorrow, feasibly, assuming I am in the mood and have the patience, or at least to knock out one or two more. Rounds of it. Um, I don't think we have one more. Give me any of these. I think we're fine on regular Pokeballs. So we don't actually need to do anything there. All right. And yeah, we got extra money in our our box and stuff in case we, for whatever reason, really want money. Um, four. Okay. We need to defeat four. Maybe I'll make up a note of that real quick in the spreadsheet, even though I'll probably forget to properly update things. But, and yeah, only two of those need to be ground. I mean, it's just Thundershock, so four is very doable. Hopefully I can get that done in two. And as I said, I don't think it's going to take more than three. So hopefully that won't take more than an hour. And we haven't gotten very many APOM out of this whole thing, unfortunately. But, you know, hey. I think we got like one. 
I, mean, I think the honestly the uh APOM might take longer, honestly. I have no idea. But at least there's less like waiting. Okay, I was like, I better get a few screenshots just for Just for uh record keeping. because uh, I you know I could see what dates I took the screenshots and stuff. In case I ever want to go back and clip reactions or something. He's just doing Oh no, I typed, I told, here the guy, Sowie the girl. It's not a guy, that's a girl. Out of curiosity, where's the other barrel? We got, we got a, can we have a big old Badoo family? I can't even put them all down at the same time, unfortunately. Uh, where even is the other one? I gotta organize this shit. <laughs> I have, too many, I have too many shinies, I can't even find the ones I'm looking for. There it is. Uh, nope, it's a female as well. Well, they're a lesbian couple. They've adopted six Badoof, one of which was abnormally large. <laughs> That's my story. Okay. Uh, we can go get mints. We'll talk to the Ginkgo Guild boy, Shopper Man, and then we'll wrap up um yeah so not not crazy progress i mean we at least finished what two pokemon today and we made a yeah, we have significant progress i think on togekiss i think we only need like 25 agile or something like that and at least a tiny bit of progress on glass card granted we need 70 strong moves um and uh, so like you know nothing um nothing to get like crazy excited about or anything but Generally, it's still progress. Any progress is progress, and this was gonna have to happen anyway, regardless, so, you know, the progress doesn't really change much. Um, I don't know, but... Too bad it'd be the same as somebody else was buying up my stock. <laughs> I gotta learn what some of these other mints are at some point. Spielberg, that's useless. That's good. That's bad. Okay. At least in this particular game. We have a lot of XP candy. Which is generally nice. Um I don't know, we'll have to figure out what we want to do with some of this stuff at some point. <laughs> got some stuff we can craft and sell. We got a lot of, we got a lot of seed of masteries, which is good, because we'll use those when we're doing the Path of Solitudes and all that. So everything's generally working out. And then I just gotta go through a few. Not too many Pokemon I have to go through for next time. Although I do have to transfer these guys, which I'm really quickly gonna move over to the box that I've been dedicating for home stuff. So, yeah. Nothing, um, nothing too crazy, but nice and good. We'll probably get some Grit Rocks out of that, because we caught a good chunk of Alphas. This is always lovely. Walrein. Ah! Yeah, hello. Um, okay. <laughs> Me and my screenshot addicted brain. Just quickly grab these and we'll wrap up. Me, man, stalling boy. Okay. Right. The double save. Because I, I just do that out of force of habit at this point. Um, do that? Okay. So yeah, that'll wrap up for today. Next time we will hopefully finish up with at least the Magnemite defeats. Maybe just get its move done too at that point, given all the effort we put in. Uh, and then from there, we'll probably just keep working on moves and parties, and at some point we'll have to do an Apom Tree thing. Uh, oh, I, actually, I don't even know how long the stream tomorrow is going to be, because I think we're going to be doing Emerald Cross, but odds are we'll have at least like an hour or two, to be honest. Maybe like an hour. So we'll at least, we'll at least do something with that time. But uh, yeah, that'll be the plan for next time. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap things up for tonight's stream. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll be streaming again tomorrow as always. Hope to see you guys then. Thanks for watching and goodbye.